The interesting thing about work that matters is when you look back on it, it looks incredibly innocent. But at the time, boy, was it provocative. Let's take a look at this ad. This ad is imaginatively called Bench. And it looks innocent, doesn't it? It's black boys and white boys hanging out on a bench. They're socializing, they're relaxed, they're enjoying a Coke. But let's take a closer look at this. Clearly, there is Coke in hand. Clearly, Coke is refreshing. But what's significant about this bench is it's no ordinary bench. It's actually a segregation bench. A segregation bench that puts white folk on one side and colored folk on the other. But we mixed it up. We put black folk and white folk together on this bench. But we didn't just stop there. We actually had the boys touch. But we didn't just have them touch. We had them touch around the segregation bar. This is a massive, massive message about togetherness and about inclusion, when exactly the opposite of such integration was going on in the real world. A year or so after producing Bench, um, at the time of the Detroit race riots and just after Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated, um, uh, uh, Coke went one step further and included this time uh, different races from all over the world, all over the planet. And at the time of the US and Vietnamese War, this film, created by McCann Erickson, is arguably the most valuable piece of advertising assets that we have. Please join me in watching this film, which is just an innocent and yet defiant rallying cry for hope, for peace, for harmony, and for love all around the world. And it's a message that still straddles across borders today. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing, sing with me.